Lovely. What does that script look like? 1957, 150 two-door sedan with tinted glass. I pulled into Muscle Palooza in my 68 old 98 party barge, and this pulled in right beside me. Now those badges are sold on the internet. You can buy them for 10 or 20 bucks. They're probably made in China or Taiwan or some crazy country. But this fellow says it's an original Felix the Cat Chevrolet from Los Angeles fuel injected 57 Chevy that was gonna be converted to a Black Widow Real deal, period correct, beautifully restored. Got some wacko flat iron four speed shifter. No shift boot, just sticks out of the floor. This thing was made to rock and roll. It's got no radio ordered, no power steering, no power brakes, fuel injected 283, 283 horse, back seat delete, heater delete. It's got windshield wipers, you wonder why. And it seems to be, according to the fellow who pulled in right beside me, a genuine fuel injected 57 Chevy. Now I am no 57 Chevy expert, and even far less of an expert on fuel injected 57 Chevys, but somebody was by here and they said, didn't all the 57 Chevys, just like 55 and 56 before it, have a stamped steel arm that went across the top of the water pump and bolted to the frame? Now, I don't know, but he said this should have had that. And it shouldn't have had brackets welded to the frame and bosses on the block to hold on the engine mount because they didn't have those until 58. Good question. Tachometer drive, Delco, Remy, fuel injection. I looked the car over pretty quick and I don't know much about 57 Chevys, but I think those fuel lines could be tucked in a little nicer. And what did I see here? Hole in the floor that just looks kind of funny. I think I saw something else here. Patch on the floor over here. You think if you're doing a beautiful restoration, you do things just a little bit more perfect and authentic. Of course, it's your car, you do what you want. Is there supposed to be a cross member like that? H pipe? Well, some things are easily returnable to stock, but didn't these come primered and cadmium plated bolts, not zinc plated bolts, and seat belts just bolted to the floor with a big old washer from True Value? I don't know, it's been buffed, the primer's showing through. I'm no 57 Chevy expert, but you think if you're spending $92,000, and it's a show winner, and it's one of a few hundred made and a few dozen to exist, that it would have better than a muffler store clamp on the frame with a nut and bolt and some weld marks on the frame from something or other. I don't know. I guess I'm just too fussy. Those long U-bolts on the spring perches that hold the leaf springs to the axle. Let's go to the junkyard and get some factory power pack exhaust tailpipe clamps so you clamp the tailpipe to the correct spot on the frame. So it might be real close, it might be a genuine authentic Felix Chevrolet 57 Chevy that was going to be converted to a Black Widow. I don't know that, but I do see a few little defects. Just a few. Grade 8 bolts holding the steering box, cadmium plated, little stuff. The floor could be fixed, I suppose. Just don't know why it has that. We got some ripples in the paint job. I don't know if you can see those. It's a nice car, but I don't know if it's, it's worth as much as the fellow is asking. Depends what you want to do with it. You want to put it in a trailer? This guy drove it from Cape Cod. He drives it. How many of these fuel injected 57 Chevys did they make? A couple thousand at the most? How many that were put into 150s with no accessories at all? Nothing. She's a beauty. And we're done at Muscle Palooza.
2017.